Hey what's up guys welcome to another video. So the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra S Pen support has been confirmed by FCC along with its functionality. We know through leaks that Galaxy S21 Ultra will be supported by S Pen stylus and that has been confirmed by FCC listing and this confirmation is the first arrived from Android authority and according to the info the S21 Ultra with the model number SMG998B will be supported by S Pen Stylus with hover and click mode functionality inside. These two functionalities of the S Pen motion detection operating in a range of 0.3 to 0.6 MHz. So this means that the Galaxy S21 Ultra S Pen will be supported by hover and click functionality and this is going to be obviously all those functionality which we have already seen in the uh, Galaxy Note Ultra devices. So these two modes I think will require some sort of a battery to charge and if we look at the Galaxy Note devices S Pen support they are coming inside the device and the device will be charged using those S Pen and we can utilize those functionality but the problem with the Galaxy S21 Ultra S Pen is that it is not coming inside the device rather it is going to be sold separately so i think that this is going to be a problem well the answer is also present in the fcc listing where uh, we have the power transfer inside the galaxy s21 ultra feature that has also been certified there and that means that the Galaxy S Pen which is coming inside will have a wireless charging capability and it can be charged using the reverse wireless technology which is coming in the Galaxy S21 Ultra alongside with the Galaxy Buds Pro. So obviously this is a great thing that is going to be happening uh, even though we don't have an S Pen inside the body it can be charged using that power transfer functionality of S21 Ultra. Moving on towards the other key specs which are coming inside the Galaxy S21 Ultra and they are certified it's going to be the fastest Wi-Fi 6E support inside the device and it is going to be obviously give you a better performance in terms of Wi-Fi capabilities. Last thing which has been certified is the ultra wide band that technology has already been implemented in the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra device and its functionality is pretty much simple. It will uh, allow you to locate the objects, family pets, open doors and personalize car experience using the ultra wide band. With that being said, a new camera sample for the Galaxy S21 Plus has been surfaced online courtesy to a Twitter leakster and according to that image that has been surfaced, it shows the night mode capability of the upcoming Galaxy S21 Plus and it is going to be obviously looking great in terms of night mode and the leakster claimed that the software is still in optimization and the final product is going to be even better. Also, Samsung starts One UI 3 beta program based on Android 11 for the mid-range category devices, particularly the Galaxy M31 and the Galaxy A51 devices, which is announced on a Samsung South Korea forum. This move from Samsung in the mid-range category devices is obviously going to be very much impressive and we are seeing Samsung is doing very fast work in terms of software updates and pushing the software update for all those devices which has been launched in 2020. Anyhow, these are the some of the latest news for the Galaxy S21 series and everything will become clear on January 14 because it is going to be considered in the rumor mills that Samsung is going to launch the S21 series on January 14 launch event. Anyhow, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the new S Pen support which is coming in the Galaxy S21 Ultra in the comment section below and if you are new here on the channel, do consider subscribing for daily tech video. Thanks for watching this video. Peace.